Good evening everyone, Amanda Ritchie here coming to you live from my backyard in Dallas, Texas. And tonight I'm going to be talking about slash careers and sharing with you about an article that I read in Forbes about slash careers. Um, first of all, if you watched my first video, I'm sorry about that. This is the second time I've done this video because I accidentally posted this in my private Facebook group the first time instead of on my personal profile. So sorry about that. Um, but anyways, I am out here in my backyard because here in Texas, uh, we don't get very much, um, very long to enjoy this good weather before uh, it gets too hot to be out here. So out here enjoying the weather and I hope y'all are having a good night too. Okay, so um, I'm gonna talk about um, slash careers and I read this article in Forbes and it talked about slash careers, what they are and why you might wanna consider them. Um, okay, so there was a book written by Marcy Albo Hare um, and she, it was called One Person, Multiple Careers and she actually termed the coin slash career. Um, and a person with a slash career are those who are making multiple streams of income simultaneously um, from different careers. Um, okay, so initially having multiple careers was kind of thought of to be a like, creative thing. So people who are writers or photographers, it was okay for them to have multiple careers. Um, but uh, just recently, um, having it's becoming more mainstream especially with millennials to have um, multiple careers um, or multiple streams of income so uh, millennials are people like me who were born in the 80s through the mid 90s and um, we're finding that we actually we want to pay the bills but we also want to pursue our passions hey Megan hey Kelsey thanks so much for watching um, Okay, so um, perhaps you're like me and you have multiple passions. Um, some of you guys may know this about me, uh, but I actually graduated from college from Oklahoma State with a degree in marketing, business marketing, go Pokes. Um, but um, I started out after college in the corporate world and um, actually found, was um, quite unfulfilled. So. Um, I switched to teaching and um, you know teaching has been really fulfilling um, but it's also very demanding and um, after I had my son I um, decided that I wanted to spend more time with him so I started my own slash career my own side business to help um, to so that I could switch from teaching full-time to teaching part-time so that I could spend more time with him. So um, that's kind of how I got into my slash career. Um, but um, anyways, so now um, who who all is watching that has a slash career? If you do, comment in the, in the comments and tell us what you do. Um, so why should you consider having a slash career? So this is um, what I found in the article from Forbes. They gave three main reasons. Uh, the first one is greater work-life balance. So um, many people often feel unfulfilled in their careers and um, slash careers can actually help you get more balance and satisfaction in your life. So I actually watched this TED talk the other day by um, a man named Nigel Marsh and he talked about work-life balance and he actually argued that work-life balance has little to do with the amount of time that you're spending either at work or at home but it actually has more to do with fulfillment and to actually feel balanced in your life then you need to feel um, fulfilled. Um, so by adopting a slash career, millennials um, who felt unfulfilled maybe in that particular area can actually can work towards achieving balance and fulfillment in another area um, while still, you know, paying the bills. Um, so that was the first one. Work-life balance is one reason why you might want to consider it. Another reason is it actually having a slash career actually makes you more desirable to employees. 
sorry, employers. So um, slash careers, and I'm reading my notes, um, slash careers can actually make you more enticing to an employer um, because they give you greater discipline, creativity, and a broader skill set. Uh, so companies um, are always looking for self-starters and innovators on their team to help them get to the next level. Um, and people who have taken the initiative to develop a slash career are actually more likely to bring those qualities um, to, to their office or to their jobs. Um, so I um, see where they're coming from here and I can actually really agree with that. Um, if you want to do a business like mine, you actually you have to have a lot of self motivation. You have to take a lot of initiative on your own, um, and so I could see why that would make you appealing to an employer. Um, so that was number two. Number three is um, you might want to supplement your income. The th so you might want to start a, a slash career so that you can supplement your income. So if you're in um, if you're like me and you're passionate about a career that doesn't have a whole lot of income potential, like teaching, um, you might want to start a slash career so that you can, so it can help you pay your bills, uh, it can help you pay off your debt, you can make some extra spending money, um, or you can actually, you can save for something that you want. Um, so that those are my takeaways from the article I read on slash careers hope that y'all got some value out of this um, if you are interested in starting a slash career and you need some ideas um, shoot me a message and I would be happy to um, to brainstorm with you and give you some ideas so that's it thanks so much for watching guys and hope y'all have a good night